I'm Ronald Bell, I'm with Burn One KB, and I'm what's new in the loop. Ball, like football back in the day, man. Yeah. So, uh, I know you went to the NFL now. Or, you know, Am I into the NFL now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I fuck with the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's my squad. Been my squad my whole life. So, how yeah. you feel about them, bro? Not third this year, man. Who do you think I'll take it this year, bro? Not that you guys not there right now. Uh, I'm very disappointed in Pittsburgh because, one, no, y'all not in it, but y'all started out with the best record of the league. Y'all started out 11 and fucking 0. Yeah, I thought so. That's crazy. <laughs> then you lost your next three. And then you get beat by the Browns <laughs> in the wild card of the, of the playoffs. The stinking Browns. <laughs> no, I think they had like a first week bye. And then the Browns came and straight beat y'all. And it's no slack to the Browns because every dog has his day. Bro, they've been down for so long. About 20, 30, 40 years, you feel Since like, shit, 95, 80s. 25. Yeah, because the 80s was the last time they went to the Super Bowl. You know what I'm Damn, I didn't even know that they had a Super Bowl. Yeah, they, well, they played San Francisco back in like 80, 80 something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow, that's great. I didn't 80s, even know. Early 80s. Bro, I didn't even know that. I remember when Bill Belichick was they, uh, they coach in 95 and then they left. And that Browns be, then became the Ravens. But then they brought the Browns back. Oh, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy, but, and, and, and like I said, every dog has his day. They've been down for so long. So I was very mad that my team got knocked out of there, but. Damn, Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 but I felt a sense of, uh, I felt a sense of like happiness for the Browns. Since that they hadn't been there, they'd been a laughing stock of the league for so long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let them get, let them get some little, let them eat. Yeah, and I had been watching out for them because one of my niggas played for the Browns, but now he played for the Packers though. Yeah, from yeah. St. Louis. Mm hmm. Kirksey, Christian Kirksey. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, we played football together in high school. What's some favorite music albums of all time that you like? You know what I'm saying? Oh, music albums of all time. Yeah, what's your favorite music joints, man? Like, I, I like, mm, I like, big, biggie shit. I like. Pac shit was all eyes on me. Um, what's the fuck is Biggie last album? Was it Life After Death? Yes, sir. Yeah, I like that. Another album that completely like changed my ear music wise was Epiphany by T Pain. Ooh. I fucking loved that album. Legendary. Legendary. Sure. Cushion Orange Juice by oh, yes. Wiz Khalifa. Oh yeah. Uh. Oh, I was on Wiz Khalifa hard back in 2010, 2011. Yeah. What album was that that had bankroll in it? Blowing on this thing. See, the beginning of these hoes. What you doing for the city is a great thing, a phenomenal thing, bro. Don't stop. Uh, keep tapping in with everybody. I, I, I already can't wait to come back so we can talk. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted to take yeah. off and get big like Vlad and shit. But had that here in St. Louis. We need and deserve it. And these artists here need and deserve it, bro. We need people like you, 2X Magazine. All these different platforms, showcases, all these fucking artists that's just coming out of nowhere. Y'all motherfuckers keep coming and keep dropping and keep tapping in with Byron 1KB. I appreciate you, bro, for real.